Trek Wrestling here inside Rec Hall. Mark Hall, 174 pounds, undefeated. You guys are down 15-5. They got momentum going to the intermission. And then you guys come out with Joseph. Gets a nice win for you guys. Late bonus point score, 174. What are you thinking about, Mark? What are you thinking about as you're getting ready to wrestle a guy like Jordan? You know you got to go to hell and back two to three times to beat him. Mm -hmm. uh, you just do your job. Uh, I can't, I mean, it's awesome that our guys are scoring bonus points and, uh, you know, uh, that's that's part of my job too. Just doing what I can to just uh, put myself in the best position to win. And, uh, you know that match. I just wrestled hard. You know I just kept coming. Um, last year I really felt like he kind of pushed me around a lot. And um, no, nah, I mean not as much so, but like a David versus Goliath kind of thing. Like just doing what I could to keep keep in positions. And this time around, I just I, I really felt good and strong. And uh, you know the, the progress is there. So. Uh, you know, this isn't the end though by any means. We got, we Maybe got, a trilogy. We got uh, we got we got two matches left, and then the Big Tens and NCA. So, um, good team win, absolutely. But uh, we'll do a good job tomorrow and uh, move on. Were you nervous? Do you get nervous for matches, especially big ones Not like here. you know Jordan Valencia? Not here. Uh, um, you know, we just I, I know we have the best the best crowd in in NCA wrestling. Um, me and. Me and Chenzo were in the back just drilling, getting ready for our matches, and we couldn't hear each other talk. Um, it so, gets crazy in here. So uh, I just wasn't nervous. I, I, I knew it was me and, and 6,000 other people out on that mat with me. So uh, just wrestling smart and doing what I can um, is the most important thing. And in that match, you get a nice shot. I mean, you're in on him, and then the hips. I mean, he attacks you with his hips. He scores. What's that like in a match, again, against a, a really good guy where you got a great attack, you should finish, and then he scores? I mean, what are you thinking at that moment in the match? You keep wrestling. Uh, I, mean, I, I, I mean, same thing kind of happened last year at Big Ten's, a reverse, you know. He, he got in on my legs, I scored off of it, and then he reversed me right away. So, uh, you know, not that that was the, uh, the difference maker, but, you know, he, just keep wrestling through positions. It don't matter if he takes me down. You know, you know, right at right before my match, I'm telling myself, you know, just wrestle hard for seven minutes. And so, uh, you know, you do those type of things, and um, you know, there's no slowing me down. Just, just keep keep doing the right things and keep having fun. It's the most important. What are some things about Jordan that you you really got to feel to truly really appreciate what he brings, skill set wise and um, strength? He, uh, you know, just wrestling him a few times. I. Uh, Let's see, I just I'm I'm starting to know him, you know. He, he after every match uh, when he beat me, and then the two two times that uh, he lost to me, um, he said good match right after. And I know uh, being a college athlete, having two children, a wife, you know, that's that's definitely not easy. So I I don't know about the uh, the wrestling portion, but. Um, just being that that special of a man uh, takes a lot to do. So, uh, in, in in that matter, to to continuously bring your A game and, and keep coming around with with those with those uh, distractions. Not by any means not for him a distraction. Sure. For someone like me, it would be uh, <laughs> it would be hectic. Uh, and you know he uh, he does a very good job of um, just keeping his mind clear and, and coming at you. I said during the broadcast, Mark, that that duck under, I'm guessing you've drilled that, I, I'm guessing, three billion times with mm -hmm. a B. Take us through, again, the mindset. You're looking to put a cherry on top, your go-to duck, you score, and then you get that ride out. Yep. Uh, just setting it up, uh, just moving forward is the most important thing there. You know, you got to get get some pressure back into me. and. Um don't want to give too much detail, but you know that's that's what it is. You got to move forward. Uh, taking shots at the beginning of the match is important too. Setting it up, um, you know, it's just one of those things. Again, I, I've drilled it so much; it's like clockwork. Like I, I don't think about when I'm gonna hit it. I just know I'm gonna hit it. I don't know when. It just happens. So, um, and again, you know, there's people out there. There's foreigners out there. There's guys in the United States out there that that can stop it. So. Uh, just making sure I'm um, building off my own style and wrestling hard. Um, whether I'm finishing a takedown with a duck under or finishing a couple more high crotches, uh, single legs, it's all, it's all important. How proud of guys like Nickel and Kassar went out there with the big win, Neville's battles. I mean, what a, what, you gotta be just so proud of your there guys. Was, 
There was 2.1 seconds left on the clock when Bo got two bad points. Uh, I think that just speaks volumes to the team. Uh, it's a good team win. Um, and even even had um, things went differently, it would still it'd still be a good team win. <coughs> um, we're just continuously learning, um, doing doing what we can to put ourselves in the best position to uh, compete as hard as we can in March. And um, that's the end game. That's what uh, that's what any coach would tell you. That um, that's where that's where the best want to be. So uh, again, guys like that, guys like Bo, Kassar, Chenzo, Zane. Um, you know, the, the deck was definitely. You know, set. Kuhn came out and competed. You know, I mean, he he was he was great at, at, at twenty five. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, he was yeah. good. Um, you know, one thirty three. Keener didn't get. You know, didn't give up a major decision. I mean, it, it just all, it every matter, every match. It all matters. Uh, I mean, even even for for Keener, given not. I mean, you say not giving up a major decision, which isn't no disrespect to him, but sure. that's, that's a match in our mind that we want to win. So um, things like that, you know, you just get back to the drawing board. And again, it's not, this isn't the end game. Um, we just do a good job of knowing, knowing the task at hand, getting it done, and moving on to the next thing. Besides your health, Mark, most important thing for you in these final six weeks to get another title? Um, definitely uh, mindset. Um, and I think I think even that. I mean, it, it all circles back to health. Um, keeping myself safe, uh, you know, uh, positionally, like not giving up a takedown. But uh, up until the nationals, if I if I have to, uh, you know, give up a little position to, to keep myself safe, then absolutely, that's a thing. Keeping myself healthy, not getting sick. Uh, taking my vitamins that I hate to do anyways, but <laughs> making sure I do those things and making sure uh, um, I do the right things. Uh, I mean, anybody will tell you that. Um, I, I mean, and again, it all circles back to health. Going back to a quick high school question for you, Apple Valley. Uh, Steveson putting it on the line with uh, Kirk Philippe. What did you think about that? A couple of world champs. That's interesting. You know those guys That's well. That's interesting. Uh, it's, it's, it's awesome uh, what they did. Gable's a good promoter for the sport. Um, happy for them. Uh, and for, for the team, they got a good team winning at Assembly, which is in a, in a hostile crowd as well. So, uh, you know, you just do a good job. Uh, Coach Barlage over there, you know, he, uh, he was a big part of my high school career. And, um, you know, it, Th those guys know how to compete uh, and they know how to win. So, uh, and Gable, he's just a specimen in itself. <laughs> he's special. Uh, Who's your dream match? My dream match? Oh, geez. I think I'd Past or present, anybody? I think I want to wrestle someone from the past. I, I couldn't put a name to it, but just to see the difference in the sport and how much it really does evolve. Like, a Gable, Gable gets a, a college open and, like, bonuses his way through it it's just a high school, a high school senior at heavyweight um and things like that are special the young guns are coming out and they're coming in hot and it's awesome to see so uh definitely someone from the past to see how much the sport has evolved and uh the different kind of things that we're learning that they maybe didn't even have a chance to learn appreciate the time mark thank you so much uh you good bet. luck down the stretch you bet thank you